What's going on guys? Today we've got a um, video that I actually filmed over the course of a couple of days because of how long it took me. But I have done a new um, cold air intake on the bottom grill. So um, I'm going to show you what exactly I did to make this. Um, how it's going and the setup that I've got. So stay tuned and let's get into it. This side of the grill, actually all the way up to here, is actually usually blanked off. But as you can see, I've uh, drilled it out and behind it fitted this massive funnel with some piping that feeds to the air filter. Now, I didn't actually um, manage to get it to go all the way up because pipe's not actually long enough so I've done a bit of a um, what you'd call a bodge until I've ordered some more pipe work to actually fit it to go all the way up right we've now uh, drilled it out did miss a few along the bottom but um, I'll come back to those another time and the top as well not very fussed about those now it's time to go. Oh, made a little hiccup there, but I will. And now I've cut out part of the tray that supports the front bumper, so it should be able to fit nicely now. Sitting in there, nice and snug. Not pushing this down as it was before. So yeah, let's try and get the bumper on now. That just broke. Hey guys, so um, a last minute edit that I forgot to put in. That pipe that broke was off the old cold air feed from the top grill. So um, I do still have the one that I've made in this video. But the one that I made previously now had to sadly be taken off because I couldn't use it anymore. So i got to order another one and then put that back on. Also another thing is that I thought the pipe that I ordered was the same size as the one that broke, but the new one's actually wider. So I might have to do a bit of um, fiddling around because it was a really tight corner that I had to go around on the previous one to get it to actually fit. So yeah, oh, and back to the video. And here it is, the engine bay in its um, current state. As you can see, I uh, changed the fake carbon fiber um, pipe for a nice silver um, pipe, which looks a bit tidier. So um, yeah, I'll change this air filter out for a better brand one at some point. You can see it's rusty. Yeah, I, I don't know why that's happening, to be honest. But yeah, I'll get that sorted at some point. Yeah, um, yeah, this is the bodge down here. So the pipe stopped about here which is obviously very far away from the air filler, so to get a little closer, I just use the cuts from the old pipe, and you know, the old pipe and the new one, and just take them together, and obviously just brings it a little closer and shortens that gap. Um, I am thinking I might use the old pipe um, to close the gap completely. And if we take a look down here, can see it's close to the pulleys. I did actually previously um, have it sitting on the water pump pulley, so uh, that put a hole in it. But um, I just sealed that with tape. Not too fast. I, I think it should be alright anyway. Um, and then down there, you obviously have the funnel, which is secured in to the tray. Let's see if I can try and find it. 
with a couple screws. I don't think I can see it. But basically, the funnel's not going anywhere because it's screwed down. So that's nice and secure. And then this, of course, mechanic's favourite cable ties. Just to keep it away from the pulleys, of course. That's really the main concern about it. And, uh, yeah, that's it. So I am going to be leaving it like this. Um, I did put some car parts on my Christmas wish list. So hopefully, if I get those, then I can sort this out a little better. And, um, can tidy up a little bit. But yeah, it, um, it actually pulls a lot better, especially in second gear. Um, it's got a little more push to it. But, um, other than that, bit of fun. Obviously, this kind of mod is for, um, or just prep work for the uh, remap that I'll be getting next year. I'm trying to just get as much air into the intake as I can. Because obviously the more air I get in, the more fuel I can put in. Um, which means slight, slightly more power. I'm not expecting huge differences from this, but I am expecting something. So, as long as I get something, I'll be happy. Thanks for watching this video, guys. If you liked it, then like, comment, and subscribe, and tap that bell button to um, find out when all my videos come out. And uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys.